Hello guys, hello. We have something to talk about. I have a confession. There is this older lady that is in the church setting that is really obsessed with me. And she also likes this guy that hasn't, I don't know if they're married or not. I don't think he's claiming her. He has kids by different women and, and sorts of stuff. Don't ask me how I know because I heard it through the grapevine by somebody that knows them. And she's copying everything that I'm doing and she's also slandering me. She's lying, telling people that I'm a prostitute, that I'm a, that I'm a drunk, um, that I want her man, and I've never met this person. I know of this person because they have an online presence, but never had no bad feelings towards this person. Um, I don't know if she thinks she has to do this to prove something to whoever. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But I just think, you know, just watch out for people when you have these unbalanced you know, low self-esteem, psycho females that feel like they have to keep, you know, it's called cyber stalking is what she's basically doing. And she's been an extreme weirdo. And I have been watching her do this for about four and a half, five years with a man that has not publicly married her, a man that I don't show no interest in. I haven't dated in nine years. I'm not in the same area they're in. We don't run into the same people. So you would have to ask yourself, how does she find out who she thinks that I am? And why is she so obsessed with trying to like push this narrative of that I'm this bad woman? Let's say if what she's saying is true. Why does that matter to you? We're not friends. We don't do business together. I don't know you. And this is my public warning that you need to stop doing what you're doing. Okay. Or that stuff is going to start coming back to you. So if you have some, tro this is beyond trolls, like somebody trying to dox, somebody that's slandering, that goes to the point where it's starting to be a legal thing. So be careful out here, guys. If you have an online presence, you will have people that will attach themselves to you. I don't know from low self-esteem or if they feel like they, you know, for clout or for whatever reason. If you are like a soft-spoken, kind of like calm person, that don't like drama, a lot of times you'll get these over the hill older women, because I'm an older woman, you know, but she way older than me. You'll get these over the hill older women, something in my eye, that want to feel like they want to live their glory days of their like middle school and high school because they were probably the fat girl or they were uncomfortable in their bodies or they didn't have no money. You know what, how it is. If you get a little surge, your little money, they start feeling themselves. That's fine, but what you got going on in your life and what I have going on in my life has nothing to do with it. I have children I'm trying to raise. I got stuff that I'm trying to do. And it doesn't involve weird, troll, over-the-heel women that are obsessing about a man that has not claimed you, that I don't want, I have not shown no interest in, and you've been doing this for four and a half and five years. That's been copying everything I've been doing as well. So I'm saying it publicly to let her know that I know what you're doing and what you're doing is slander, even if it's by insinuation. Because you have done it over and over, almost every day, guys. Every she's not even smart with the stuff. She won't even like do it a little bit. She's been doing this and she has dedicated her whole whatever you call online presence to think she's throwing dirt on me, but we don't run in the same circles. And we're not the same person. So I don't understand that type of thought process. But just be careful. Always try to, you know, make sure that you have let people know in your life if you have like people that are stalking you. Um, especially when it's women. Um, and then also on your free time, go look up um, maybe on YouTube or whatever type of, uh, you know, outlet streaming service that you have, go look up when females stalk you because it's different than when a man does it. When a man do it, they're disgruntled, they're angry, they might be delusional, but when a woman does it, it has emotional attachment to it. So they have emotionally attached themselves to you and they feel like you're the competitor in their life and you don't know them. So it can come from an extreme place of mental illness and delusion. So be safe out here. My family knows this person has been bothering me like this. And she can do and post whatever you want to post. Just don't pull up. Have a wonderful day, guys. Be safe. And if you have to get a restraining order, get one. Always be safe, okay? All right, peace.